so this is what I'm using. I got this back in August, I think. Um, I used I, I had two bags. I used the other bag out in the garden already. But this one just didn't get used up. This is the most consistent recipe I found online. But I'll be cutting this in half because I don't have enough plants to water with five gallons of tea. So I'll be two and a half gallons of water, one and a half cups of castings, and one tablespoon of molasses. I'll put this down in the description. This recipe is written for worm castings but I'm sure it'll work with any other materials. My worm casting hasn't come in yet. Um, some people water it down to the one. Some people leave it as is. Next, we're gonna put in molasses or any simple sugar. And you want unsulfured because the sulfur would inhibit the growth of the bacteria you want to populate. Uh, it helps to have like a slightly warmer spoon or lukewarm water to get the molasses off quicker and to dissolve it faster. So to keep the microbes alive, it's best to stir, incorporate air into the tea every five, at most seven hours. Um, more often is better. If the microbes run out of oxygen, they start to die, and that's when you get the stinkiness happening. The tea is good starting at 24 hours. At most, use it by 48 hours. Um, they're going to start to run out of oxygen and food, and also they'll start to drown after about that length of time. It does vary on your temperature of your space. The warmer it is, the faster they'll multiply, outlive their space, and start to go anaerobic. Now, depending on how you're going to be using this, you might want to put your worm castings or compost into some kind of a bag, like cheesecloth, pillowcase, old shirt, and wrap it up. This way you'll just get the fluids and not the particles and residue, which you can put back in the soil, put in your compost, whatever. And you can also filter it out later on by pouring it into a sieve of some kind. Particularly if you're going to be doing some foliar spraying with this, you don't want to clog up your instruments. Since I'll be watering my houseplants with this, I don't mind the extra soil, per se. 